Hi, my crafter friends. Welcome back to my craft room. I'm Jeannie Rainey. Today I'm showing you a card made with the Going Fishing Bundle, or Gone Fishing. It has lots of wonderful dies and stamps with sentiments. Here's the card we're gonna make today. Happy Father's Day. So glad you're my dad. We're gonna use a piece of Knight of Navy. It's going to be a six by 11, as well as a white. We're cutting it at six. And then we're gonna make marks at two inches, top and bottom. Turn it over and do the same thing, two inches. Then we're gonna score at two and three fourths, five and a half, Somehow it didn't get in the video. And then we're going to go to eight and a quarter. And then we're gonna measure one and three eighths and score between the two score lines. So at two to four inches. One and three eighths, scoring between the two and four inches. Then I'm gonna fold my score line so I can see where it is because I'm going to cut. So I go back to my marks, the two inch mark, and I'm gonna cut at one and three eighths down to nine and five eighths. Again, one and three eighths down to nine and five eighths. Then all my scoring is done. Gonna make the folds to make it easier to see where I need my DSP and my card stocks. Okay, there's two different sizes here. There's 10 of the larger size and four of the smaller size. These are actual sizes here. Now to figure out what DSP and cardstock you need, it needs to be a little smaller than these original sizes. We're gonna use Let's Go Fishing 12 by 12 DSP. Now I saw this original card by Katherine Proctor. Here's the dimensions for you of the sizes. That's the original size. And then we calculate down for our DSP and cardstock sizes. Again, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of that size and four of the smaller size. This is the next size down and the next size down. So whether you're using a cardstock and DSP or just DSP, these are the figures for you. So two and five eighths by one and seven eighths. And then one and three fourths by two and a half. We need seven of those. The white ones will be for the sentiments. One and a fourth by one and seven eighths. We need four of those. And then the smallest one, just two, one and an eighth by one and three fourths. Now we'll start our stamping. This color is Knight of Navy. And then we're doing all of the outlines with the gray granite. 
and we'll be using the new in colors for coloring in. color is Moody Moth. And this color is Boho Blue. Wild Wheat. And Copper Clay. Then we pulled out the dies. Now this particular one you need two. This one you hey need one. I want to give you a little tip about using your um, die cutting machine. Um, if you put your uh, die this direction and try to go straight through, it uh, puts a struggle on your machine. So the best thing to do is Try to get a smaller piece of paper to where you can put it at somewhat of an angle so that it's not going straight into the machine. If you put it at an angle, your machine will have a much easier time running the die through. So that's just a little hint, guys. Sometimes when you put things that go straight through, it's just too much on the blades but if you put it this way or even this way where it's on the shorter side going through first um, instead of the the much more of the blade so if it's a shorter blade going through it's easier for your machine look at all the choices of dies and stamps that we have with this bundle now I'm going to glue two layers together just to give some thickness this tip Set that aside and start adhering all the little bits. Now, I'm pretty sure you got the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and I'll be back. Cut out some other little bits. These don't have a stamp to go with them, but they're, uh, they have to do with fishing. I think they're some kind of a weight or something. Anyways, this is how they uh, assemble. I'm just using red cardstock, white cardstock, and uh, soft suede. This is how they go together. I've made three of them. 
now to adhere all the little bits that were stamped. There's the inside all done. Now I'm just using a little strip of the Let's Go Fishing 12 by 12 designer paper. And of course I got it a little bit crooked. <laughs> nice thing about the liquid adhesive, it has a little bit of give. Gonna fill my tackle box. the adhesive on the inside fold it together now you want to go like a C shape you do not want adhesive in the center section that's towards the fold just on the outside edge of the card is where you want the adhesive the center section needs to be free from adhesive There you go. What a nice Father's Day card. I hope I've inspired you to make one too and have a wonderful Father's Day. Our DSPs and our stamping bundles provide such a great opportunity for us to make these fantastic cards. Again, Gone Fishing Bundle as well as Let's Go Fishing 12 by 12 papers. Here's the template for you. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please like and share. Thank you.